Hello, uh, today I just want to talk real quick about conformal spray. Just doing a little um, DIY, a little info on this stuff. And I decided a video was a little bit better of uh, description. It's kind of hard to read about. I mean, you can, but it's kind of boring stuff. Uh, but I love conformal coating. And uh, I just wanted to review it real quick. I mean, uh, a lot of you probably already know about it, but for the people that don't or just kind of want to see what it does, uh, this is for you. So I'm going to try to swing this camera without making everybody barf down here and look at this. Uh, alrighty. Alright, so, problem. Your circuit's outside and see if we can see this enough. You, uh, you know, it sits outside, maybe it's in a nice little case, but moisture still gets to it, you know. Stuff is warm inside, gets cold outside back and forth you get condensation and you end up getting like on this circuit you know um, corrosion and out near uh, you know I'm in Seattle if you're out near the water you get a lot of electronics that I end up replacing and some of our controls that we end up um, you know they're just powdered with um, you know corrosion from salt water and whatnot so this stuff works great for anything outdoors you know you don't have to be uh, out on the the coast to have corrosion. You, anywhere you have a something that might be going in a car or whatnot, uh, you might be interested in throwing some of the stuff on for your home projects. So today, uh, this is just something I tore out of one of those outdoor transmitters. I was going to clean it up a little bit because it's not working quite right. But today, I just have a little piece of proto board. I I broke off some old used stuff. I, I don't know, I got it in a junk box from somebody. But uh, just a little resistor and an LED on here. Just, you know, nothing going on here just other than the solder here. And I was just, uh, I just have this hooked up to a power supply that has, um, you know, a current overload. So if it draws too much current, it kind of just pops off and it's real easy to reset. I'm just going to throw this in this water here real quick to show you the power of con conform, though this is not what conformal coating is used for. <laughs> um, so this is actually uh, water with some salt in it just to increase the, the conductivity of the water because in, in plain water this does not work. Um, at least not my water. Maybe your water and definitely not in um, DI water. But here we go, LED's on. LED's not on. <laughs> I tripped my current overload. Just trying to dry it off here. Sorry, it's not really exciting to watch. So I'm just um, drying out my traces real quick here. Right, got a lot of water in there. Probably under the diode, right? Not the best idea in the world, but whatever. Okay, anyways, so the light will have to dry out, I guess. Man, this just did not want to work. Oh. Anyways, light's back on, barely, but we'll, we'll get that fixed. <laughs> ah, there we go, much better. So, uh, conform. What I'm going to do is take some of this, and I have silicone conformal coating. Um, I like this stuff just because it's like a little flexible. It's actually maybe a little harder to remove. I, I, I wrote some stuff up in, in a draft already on this stuff, but this is usually why I can get anyways um, at the local electronics store. Not free. Yeah, that's US dollars there for people in wherever else. 
land. Um, but yeah, it definitely, it lasts a fair amount of time. If you use it like spray paint, you clear out the nozzle and whatnot. So don't do this at home. You really should have a, um, you know, it's toxic, so you should be doing this outdoors, but you know, I, I'm not gonna do that because I don't feel like going outside right now. It's like 25 degrees out, that's Fahrenheit. And it's a little cold for my blood, so anyways, here we go. That's it. Now I'm going to probably pause for a little while because this stuff takes a while to to dry and it really depends on the type of coating you have. But um, I know mine takes a while so I'm going to pause here for a while and then we'll pick it back up when it's all dry. Okay, <clears throat> that was about 15 minutes. Not so bad. Really only one coat. Um, if I was really putting this out side or doing some of this I'd probably put on two coats um, but you know it, it's not sticky anymore um, you would want to stick your finger on that stuff while it's drying or your you'll have your fingerprint in there forever but um, again I can't can't emphasize enough that you really probably shouldn't be spraying stuff indoors it really is not good for you at all but um, you know eh, I don't care so much so um yeah, I, I got one coat on there, and we'll see if this still works. Sure it does, but... Uh, oh, yeah, that actually... That actually reminds me. Um, this board, I don't know if it would affect it as so much, but I actually had some little RF boards one time, those 433 megahertz boards. You guys have probably seen, and they have the little, you know, the little uh, LC circuit there for its transmitter and um, one time about oh I don't know probably 10 years ago I guess I sprayed I sprayed this circuit down because it was going outside in a cabinet um, but I sprayed it down and it actually ended up <laughs> detuning the LC circuit so watch out in RF circuits um, not not such a good deal there but anyways let's try to get along here Test this out. All right, there's our LED. Ooh, almost took a bath. Uh, there's our LED on again. Uh, you know, current limiting set like mid range, uh, 100 milliamps or so. But uh, let's let's try this out. Okay, and that time you can see that she's swimming, no problem. Now this isn't what this is designed for, obviously, but. I'm just trying to make a point that it, it creates a barrier for moisture and it works out really well. Um, I had a little story that went along with this that I actually um, started in my draft and you'll see it. But um, that's that. Alrighty, my battery died just in time for you to see the <laughs> yeah the finale of that little bit. But uh, as you can tell, she's running and um, like. Uh, this conformal coating is great stuff. Uh, I really like using it and I really suggest it if you're going to do anything in automotive or anything along those lines. So that's it. Pretty much got to wrap it up here. I just heard my brother pull up on his motorcycle. We're going to go out for some dinner, hang out. So uh, hopefully I'll get this posted in the next couple days and uh, you guys can tell me if you like this conform or uh, if, if you don't like the conformal coating. Um, have fun guys. See ya.